Well, to me personally, and this is something we saw during our project, weather was the number one factor that was predicting success. So in other words, getting the forecast right, reading the clouds, diagnosing the weather in the field was the ultimate determining factor as to whether we were gonna be successful. And by success, I mean, for most people, it's getting to the summit. So if your plan is to get to the summit of a peak, the most important thing you need to consider is the weather. It's not just the forecast ahead of time and packing your bag correctly, but it's watching the weather once you get out here and knowing what you see. It's putting off the tougher peaks until maybe a couple of years down the road because it does take some time to recognize the pattern, the weather patterns out here. And once you get good, it kind of watching clouds develop off into the distance and thunderstorms developing at certain times of the day and in certain months of the year, that's really going to be a big advantage to you when you start to hit the more technical routes on some of the peaks in Colorado. Just knowing how these thunderstorm patterns sort of develop in the afternoon, how these storms like to move and knowing that the wind direction is so critical in steering these storms and standing up on a pass between two tall peaks and feeling the wind at your back and knowing that that wind direction is ultimately steering those storms in a certain direction. There are little lessons that you pick up over time, especially when you're on a time constraint and you got to get to the summit at a certain time. Weather is the most important factor.